what you see, or more importantly, what you hear, go ahead and pick up the tablet in front of you. Try to relax. Think of this as sort of a game or a puzzle. Something to assess your interpretive and deductive skills. State your name, please. Already told you. Tyler. Hmm? But your car is registered under the name Cameron. <coughs> My brother lets me borrow his luxury vehicle sometimes. You two look a lot alike. You're not the first person to mistake us for each other. We're twins. Except he's a big shot CEO. It was on a magazine cover recently. <laughs> I pulled your sheet. A repeat offender. DUI. Assault. <sighs> it's the people I hang out with. Honest. I told the guys I shouldn't have been drinking, but they insisted, I swear, never again. Do you have anything else you'd like to come clean on besides the DUI? Uh, not that I can think of. Why? Drugs, perhaps. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. Okay, we're done for now. Wait here. Hey, what drugs, yo? What the hell's going on here? Let it go. Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. Figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. We'll need your signature for that affidavit. Of course, officer. I need to make a phone call anyway. Officer, you said something about drugs earlier. What was that all about? What's your name, son? Tyler. Same old story, I see. If you're Tyler, then who's the Tyler in the room next door? He's here too? Let me ask you again. Who are you? All right, all right. Cameron. This isn't your first time impersonating Tyler, is it? No. If it was only a DUI this time, you might have been able to pull off your little stunt again. But seriously, drugs? You really want to pin that on your brother, too? What drugs? We found a whole kilo in your trunk. That's impossible! Okay, I drink too much, but I've never taken anything stronger than aspirin! I want to see my lawyer. Finally, there's the magic word. Amber, let's go. You want to question him again once his lawyer gets here? He's done nothing but lie straight from the start. We already read him his rights, but he didn't ask for a lawyer until now. The statement we got will hold up in court. Lawyer or no lawyer, we've got him. Take a seat. Thanks. The tips you provided us have all been checked out. We've got the guy and the drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Because he's got to learn... ...to take responsibility for his own mistakes. What do you mean by that? We're twins, right? Identical. He's been pinning his fuck-ups on me ever since we were kids. But now he's rich and famous. And me? I'm trying hard just to get by. 
then why do you always take the fall for it? Until now, I mean. Because he's older, by a couple minutes. But as the second son, I was considered the spoiled brat. So it was my duty to protect the rep of the rightful heir to our father's business. I guess I always thought, what's the harm adding a few misdemeanors to my rap sheet? Pretty generous for a spoiled brat. Don't believe me? Ask him. Fucker's probably still pretending to be me. All right. What changed this time, then? He racks up a couple moving violations? Fine, whatever. But I ain't taking the fall for no drugs. That's some felony-level shit. Be right back. All done, Marty. Ah, Amber. How'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. Figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. We'll need your signature for that affidavit. Of course, officer. I need to make a phone call anyway. here. Of course they're gonna trace the source. And the dealer can ID me, so hurry up. My brother? Pulling the same old stunt as we speak. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd try to blame me. But it's gonna backfire on him this time. Don't worry. He was already wasted when I popped open the car. Didn't notice a thing. The police are gonna nail him for possession and perjury. Drugs, perhaps. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Let me ask you again. Who are you? All right. All right. Cameron. We found a whole kilo in your trunk. Don't worry. He was already wasted when I popped up. So you believe that the twins swapped their identities? Excellent assessment, detective. By this point, you've probably figured out you're reviewing a sort of surveillance recording. All of this data is contained in and processed by what we're calling the uh, acoustic detective system. It allows you to freely navigate through past events using captured audio. Ultimately, we're hoping to assemble a new investigative department that will rely heavily on this invention, both to solve cold cases and assist with new ones as they develop. You're off to a strong start. Let's get back to it, shall we? How about something more challenging? This is the floor plan of a local art gallery. The exhibition is about to start, but the only thing on display is an empty frame. Mr. Green, what brings you here? I wanted to thank you in person for uh, sending me a photo of the maestro's painting. Thanks to that high quality image, I could see all the fine details and woo wee, talk about a masterpiece. <laughs> Please keep your voice down. I sent it to you because you've been a good sponsor to this gallery and I hope that will continue. But we're under strict orders not to show that painting to anyone. 
The threat of forgery alone. Who is this, huh? Ah, whatever. Ha! Ah, good luck to anyone who thinks they could copy the maestro's genius. <laughs> Still, there are those out there that would try. What am I, a freaking call center? <sighs> Sean, buddy, calm down. I get it. You know I only collect originals. The best of the best, right? I wanted to see it before the opening. And now that I have, I'm gonna buy it. Actually, about that, I... Well, I'm afraid that... Maybe you should just answer that, hmm? Go ahead. Uh, right then. Like I said, just one by to say thanks for the sneak preview. You've probably got a packed schedule. I'll see you out there. Sean! Ah, Maestro, there you are. I was just looking for you. I viewed your painting the other day, by the way. Truly a masterpiece. But when I just went to check on it earlier, all I saw was an empty frame. Your assistant said that's what you actually want to present? Could I ask the reason, if you don't mind? <sighs> Do you know why I picked the theme, the lost art, for this exhibition? Hmm? Look outside. Look at all those people staring at an empty frame, thinking it is my actual work. Tell me, Sean. Just how many works of art from young, promising artists do you have in this gallery right now? Ten? Twenty? You might as well have zero of all it is worth to these people. To them, this empty, pointless frame is more valuable than the actual art of all of these rising artists. Do people nowadays have any taste? Hmm. You're not wrong there, maestro, but uh, that's pretty much how it's always been. You are right, of course. The Renaissance elite, uh, they patronized the starving sculptors and painters. But it feels especially true now that art has become about who has more money, whose name is more recognized. People have become nothing more than sheep with no opinions of their own. Call it performance art if you wish. But this exhibition was never about a piece of canvas. No, the truth is, I hired a thief and instructed him to steal my painting and to sell it on the black market. If someone eventually recognizes my work, I will reveal everything my entire scheme, and sign my name to it. Why, that's, that's brilliant. Just imagine the rush of people who'll be out searching for your painting. While it's true that they may just be in it for the money, they'll have to go through hundreds and hundreds of anonymous paintings if they have any hope of finding yours. Hello, this is Claude. <laughs> Thank you. Magnifique. Finally, we can begin. Are you... Ready, maestro? Yes. Let us, uh, as they say, get this show on the road, huh? I am hopeful that after today, people will finally start to appreciate the art around them. As they search for the stolen painting, they will find much more than they bargained for. The true lost art. And until my painting is found, this exhibition will continue. A brilliant plan. What? Once was lost, shall be found, as they say. Precisely. Yes, yes, it's about that time. Shall we go? Onward and upward, let us march. 
After you. Ah, there you are, Maestro. The exhibition's about to start. Me, we. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you could all be here today. I'm sure many of you have questions about the, well, empty frame you see before you, which is why, without further ado, I'd like to officially announce the commencement of the Lost Art Exhibition. Put your hands together for the maestro, Claude. Lady... Ah, there you are, maestro. The exhibition's about to start. Me, we. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you could all be here today. I'm sure many of you have questions about the, well, empty frame you see before you, 